oh, I'm delighted. It was, uh, um, I spoke to a couple of people and they said the chance to play for a big club as Wednesday are, it was, it was a bit of a no-brainer for me and um, a bit of a, a shock to come, but it was, it was straight there. When, when I knew it was, it was settled, then I spoke to the gaffer and it, it was a done deal. Obviously, I weren't touted as being available, you know, everything was fine at Wickham. Uh, it wasn't about leaving Wickham for any other reason apart from location, but as soon as we had our little chat, uh, it was it was dead on for me, and and the first thing I said to him is I'm I'm not here to waste time. I'm here to win trophies. You mentioned that chat with the gaffer. What 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 did he say to you? He said he's got his, his own style of play. We've, we've he said I've got the players. I need a bit of experience. Which if you knock over my Zimmer frame, I've got a little bit of. Um, so look, we, uh, I don't take myself too seriously. I said that to the gaffer and. I said, whichever way it is, if whoever's playing, I, I might be disappointed if I'm not playing. I want to play. I want to finish on a high. I'm not finished yet, so if I can get that high next year, which I, I want to lift the trophy and to do it at Hillsborough. And he he was along those lines. I said, look, I'm I'm here to help as well. You know, experience. If you bring young players in, which is he's renowned for doing and finding good players. The experience have already got in the change room, and, and and that's all it is. And and to have fun and have a smile on people's face. You obviously played against us last season. What were your thoughts on the Wednesday side you came up against last season? Oh, we, we was we was worried like we had to win that at that point as well. And it was we felt that like when we came up here, we we managed to scrape a draw, which you played very well that that day. Um, the atmosphere as well, like you say, Wickham. It's a very different club. So coming up here and playing that sort of game and then once we we, we got you back at our, our place um, we knew what you was delivering and the form that you were in so it was all about changing momentum we, we spoke about it before the experience that we had to use to frustrate you and, and things like that so we knew the team it was and, and like I said to Darren after if you'd have beat that I think you'd have been very close to being automatic so it was it was good for Wickham at the time but not good for you. How pleased are you as well that this deal's been done in so early in the window as well? It must be a, a, like a weight off the shoulders almost. Yeah, definitely. It was it was something that I, I, I expressed that I wanted to get done and um, because I, I, I want to come in, see my new teammates. I, obviously, I've played a lot against a lot and I, I know a few of the lads, but it's about getting that thing, especially as a goalkeeper, my defence, working with them. They feel me like I'm. I'm not a shouter. I'm. I'm very much very calm, and they get a feeling from me. If anyone makes mistakes, fine, no worries. We'll sort it out. And then they get that feeling that nothing's ever a problem, and and just the composedness of somebody turns around and you're shouting and screaming. They think, oh no. And and then the fans are a bit like, why is he shouting and scream? Whereas if you calm at all all times, and yes, I do have a shout and scream. But if you calm and and composed. Defenders feel that and say, "All right, no worries. Like, we, we can do this. We can." And at the time, sometimes we're going to go behind, and don't worry, we've got plenty of time. We've got the players. We've got the, and and that's what I want to bring and and getting in early and seeing how the manager wants to play. I can put my persona on on the lads in front. I got to mention another time you played against us. Obviously, the the semi final. Don't mention it. <laughs> <laughs> the semi final. Um, against Brighton at Hillsborough, obviously maybe not a great day for yourself, but no doubt you must remember the atmosphere, what it was like on that night. Yeah, I was actually speaking to Lindsay, the secretary, about this. Um, I remember people who I'd brought to the game, family and everything, they was like, when the lights went up from people's phones and that, it was like, what's going on here? And then, then it happened, and, and once it's in full screen, I remember looking on the pitch and going, oh my God, like, and I said that that's a part of the reason why I came here was, to experience them nights and experience the fans when they're in full force. And I was asking how many we can hold and she's like, why, what are you playing? I said, well, imagine lifting the trophy with a full house, you know, that, that's the thought. I, I like to manifest my thoughts and, and, and live it out. So so I can't, I can't wait to, to hear that roar. And I know what the, I, we just spoke about the away fans. I know what they're like away fans <laughs> being an opposing goalkeeper. So I, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you got the joint most clean sheets in the division last season. You, you must be really keen to keep that form going into the new season as well. 100%. That's that's a basis. And like you said, your home record last year was the best, I think, in England, did you say? Yeah. So 
being able to do that and keep clean sheets then you're always putting points on the board and, and, and moving along, ticking along and then that's a solid base for me, for the defenders and it gives the lads up front something to build off and the gaffer as well, sometimes you want to go for a game and they know, right lads, you can you can look after that and let us do our business and we could be 5 nil up and if I concede a goal I'll be going nuts and kicking posts and that that's my my inner inner drive so yeah you'll see me going mad a couple of times and and people are like but we've won five one I was like no it's not it's not the point I'm I'm glad we've won but we can't sit back and it might be the next game and and so on and so on so yeah you'll see all sorts of personas coming out of me. Um, do you know any of the lads in the dressing room? Yeah, well, Harley was on loan last year. He was my captain at Birmingham. Barry, I've played against for years. Jack Hunt is a Leeds lad, so we've always remained close. But I, I know a lot of footballers in this division, and you've got players that shouldn't be playing in this division. So I'm I'm glad to be amongst one of them now that can hopefully help carry the club work back to where I know it's it's been because I've played against Sheffield Wednesday for the best part of 15 years, and it's always been in the championship and and then if maybe I, I move on at least I've helped the club move in the right direction and um, hopefully see him back in the Premier League. You're obviously bringing a lot of experience into the dressing room, what else are you bringing in terms of, in terms of your character? We've got a lot of uh, good young goalkeepers here as well no doubt you'll be wanting to help them out where possible. Yeah I'll, I'll always help, I'm always here open, um, I'm not one of those that keeps my mouth shut and that I'll, I'll help sometimes even when you don't want it. And it's all about building, like, I, I know Cam, he won't like me saying, but I scored a penalty against him last year in a penalty shootout. <laughs> but I had a chat with him and I was like, you, you keep going, you know, I spoke to Bailey after a game, like, you're doing well, keep going, keep progressing. And it's things like that that, although it might they might not listen to you, but helping people, giving people assurance, especially in the goalkeeping world, where you kind of have to stick together a little bit just hearing it from people who you're playing against and, and your peers and things like that. And so the younger lads that are coming through, Cam, I'm, obviously I want to play, but I'm not there to dull down anybody else because if you're, if you're better than me, I'm going to try to get better than you. And it should be the, the same, same. And it's always better for the club that somebody is like that as a person. Being able to help somebody to try and overtake me because then I know that I've got to step up again, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to set a level and if he's above that level, I have to set another level and which makes him a better goalkeeper, me a better goalkeeper and helps the whole club in general. You've obviously got a bit of extended time off now because you obviously played in that playoff final, but how much are you looking forward to, to getting into training and, and meeting the lads? I can't wait. I, I'm very much like, I'm, I'm a people person. I, I, I like that interaction I like to get to know people and inside and out because I feel if I know a person and it'll be all you guys who won't be just the players I, I like to know everyone in the club because when you want to speak to an individual I like to speak to them on a level so if I know a situation I don't know I, I'll know somebody's kids names how's your kids doing and then I can talk to you if you're if you're quite a confrontational person I can be that with you if you're not and you're a bit shy and what there's a certain way I'll come and speak to you and it's all about interaction and, and respectfulness so I can't wait to meet people they'll they'll hear my real bad jokes and like typical goalkeeper not not right in the head. Just overall then looking forward to what's hopefully going to be a successful season obviously aiming for for, for pushing for promotion. Yeah that that is my whole thing and like I said earlier I spoke to the gaffer and <laughs> I set it out promotion is my aim it was last year it was the year before I'm not here for money I'm not here for fame I'm obviously not here for fashion um, I'm here for medals and, and that's my one drive and if we do it as a club together hopefully I can be a big part of that but if my experience helps other people uh, across the line being a part of it and getting this massive club back to on the run of the ladder to where you eventually want to be um, it'll be an unbelievable achievement especially for me to be able to help that because I've been able to do it at other clubs um, and be a part of that it's, it'll be a special thing moving forward.